Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Aesthetic Gardening. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to show you how to grow the beautiful flowers of Gomphrena. Gomphrena globosa, also known as the globe amaranth, comes in many different beautiful colors. Pink, purple, white and also red. They are also used as the cut flowers. They are the best summer flowering plants. But also they keep continue flowering from March, April to November, December. These flowers are also used as a ground cover in many garden setups. Flowers are very beautiful, small button shape and they survive on plants for many days, for at least 20 days or longer. These are the Gomprena Choice Mix Variety Seeds which I have ordered online. So let's get started. You can also collect the seeds from the plants of the last year and grow them for the upcoming season. Although you can grow them from February to March month, but they also grow well during the monsoon season. To grow the seeds, I am using here the plastic container of about 5 to 6 inch with drainage holes. For the soil media, I am using here 70% of the cocoa pit and 30% of the vermicompost. So here I have prepared the soil bag for the seeds. Here my cocoa pit is already little bit moist. Now I am taking the seeds. The seeds are much smaller in size and pear shape. These are the seeds of light pink color of the Gomphrena flowers. I sowed these seeds during February month but you can grow them anytime during February to monsoon. I will keep here about half to one inch space between the seeds. This will allow enough space for the plants to grow. After sowing them, I am covering these seeds with half inch of the layer of the cocoa pit. Make sure you don't bury them too much deeper. After sowing the seeds, water them thoroughly and keep it in the shaded area for 2-3 to three days. Water it with a sprayer so that the seed won't get displaced from its place. This is after one week. You can see the seeds have started germinating. After 35 days, you can see the seedlings have grown much larger. I am already late in transplanting. You can transplant them after the true leaves have appeared. If you want your plants to be more bushier, you can do pinching. You can see already my plants have started producing blooms. This is the result after 60 days. All the plants have survived well and all are producing blooms. These are the very low maintenance plants which you can add to your garden. If you want flowers during summer season and the whole monsoon till the November month or December month. 
These baby pink colored flowers look so stunning. I have three colors in my garden. The baby pink, this magenta pink and the white color. I will collect the seeds for the next upcoming season when the flowers will dry. These plants are not much affected by fungus but continuous rainfall may affect the plants. So you can always spray a fungicide to prevent the fungal attacks. If you want more blooms on your plants, you can always do pinching on your plants and give fertilizer on regular basis. You can use DAP or potash to get continuous blooms. Although it is a very low maintenance plant, if you don't provide fertilizer then also it will produce flowers. If you want to use organic fertilizers then you can use banana peel liquid fertilizer or onion peel fertilizer for your plants. If you don't know how to make banana peel liquid fertilizer for your plants, go and check the link in the description box and please check the video. This is the result after 80 days. You can see the beautiful stunning blooms. So this is it for today. Hope you liked my video and you find my video useful. If you like it, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.